Hello everyone, Drew here for Drew Dat Games, back with another live stream. MLB The Show 23 is out now. Game Pass, and physically in retail stores. Let me just tweet out the stream real quick here. There we go. Before I get into playing it, let me just show you something that I noticed while fidgeting with the settings uh, earlier this afternoon. Uh, if you guys notice, uh, player lock game flow, you c we can have it set to watch full game, show, show sim screen, skip to next appearance, and yeah, so for the sake of streaming, I'm just going to have it set to skip to next appearance, but when I play this on my own, after this particular stream, yeah, I'll be personally using Watch Full Game at that point, so. But for streaming purposes, I will just have skip to appearance. So, <clears throat> we got Road to the Show, Diamonds, Diamond Dynasty, which I assume is... Much like in years past, uh, like, uh, like Ultimate Team. March to October, Franchise, and the, and the Negro League. Hmm. That's new. Anyway, what I'm here to do is road to the show, though. Select current roster. Yeah. Position player, two way, or pitcher. Usually I mess around with a two way most of the time. But as it is. <clears throat> Yeah, I think I will just stick around with a two-way, so. I want to focus on domination with heat, so that's like Jacob Graham from the Texas Rangers for for velocity break, like uh, Corbin Burns from the Milwaukee Brewers. Control, like Liam Hendricks from the Chicago White Sox, or... A knuckle thrower like Phil Nico, formerly of the Adla Ad Atlanta Braves at the time, from a long time ago, it seems. Yeah, I'm going to go for control when it comes to pitching. More focus on having strength to sling, to sling it and wreck it. Yeah, I'm gonna go for power. Starting pitcher. Yeah, let's go with starting pitcher. And. <clears throat> Seeing as how when I played baseball in a boys' baseball league when I was a kid, I was a catcher, so I'll just go with catcher here. Would you like to clear your last name audio? Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't need to use the last name for streaming purposes here, so... And I'm going to wear my favorite jersey number from, from Kirby Puckett, Minnesota Twin legend, who played center field when the Twins won the World Series back in 1991. So... Or was it 93? I can't remember. It was somewhere in the early 90s. Now, Avi was selecting this. You guys will know what state I was born in. But as it is... Two forty eight apparently is the heaviest. Well, the, the player creator is pretty good. I'm just going to cycle through all of these to see how many they all are first. And also see how generally all of them look. I don't want to go close, I just want to turn. That's kind of how my hair is at the moment. Or at least it's getting there, so I'll just rock with that.
kind of like that one. Not sure what that's for, so I'll skip that one. <clears throat> Eye color, here we go. Looking for a light green to almost blue eyes. That might be it. I think I'm just going to go with 13 then. That's close enough, I'd say.
Ears look fine. I reckon that'll do. Here we go. Equipment. Hmm. A knob. Interesting.
<clears throat> Motion and sound ought to be the last thing here. Where's Ken Giffrey Jr.? That's the one I usually go with. Here he is. As you guys can tell, he was my favorite baseball player when I was a kid. Rock music, hip hop, and country. to get started here he's been waiting a long time and it looks like he's going to get that call getting drafted is a dream come true you now have the opportunity to play in the major leagues you're in a major league system hard work and preparation you can climb the ladder you have to ask yourself are you willing to do what it takes to battle every day to get the job done to get your team over the top this game is turned upside down. <clears throat> are you willing to take that chance a perfect game I can't wait. You talk about a guy who comes much advertised. This is it. I am raring to go. Let's watch. You hear about certain people who have potential, have great potential, and they go out there every day and prove it. You bet I'll be watching. We might be watching generational talent.
journey begins now. With the MLB draft already underway, a young prospect gets a call from an experienced scout. So, well, let me read this from, okay, Twin Scout Justin Rowe. Hey Drew, this is Justin Rowe from the Twins. I chatted with you a little throughout the year. Was hoping to talk to you about possibly playing some professional baseball. What do you say? So I could say, yes, absolutely. I've spoken with a lot of scouts this year. Great to hear from you, though. Sorry, I don't recall. Yeah, I'm going to say, yes, absolutely. Perfect. Let's get to it. Where do you see yourself in in this year's draft? I'm the best there is. No one better than me. I would be the centerpiece of any organization. I just want to make it into the league. Yeah, I'm going to go with the centerpiece of any organization. Many would agree with that. Would you want to play for the Twins? I'm open. I'm just excited to play ball. Yes, the Twins are my dream team. No, I prefer to play. I'm open. I just want to play some ball. What does your future in baseball look like, whether you're on our team or another? I just want to be lucky enough to make it into the big leagues. Right, I'm thinking Hall of Fame and a World Series championship. Yeah. Lovely confidence. Hopefully we can be a part of that dream. Best of luck today with the draft. Thanks. Personally, I like your energy and we want you in our dugout. I know you're busy and have all 30 clubs trying to take you. Best of luck today. Hopefully you, you'll, you'll be getting a call from us. Let's see who drafts, drafts uh, us. Into, into into the Major League Baseball. Washington. Oh, lovely. What? You must be kidding. What? They drafted who? We had this circus last year. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> I was there playing playing the show last year. And <laughs> oh dear. Well, I was drafted into the Washington Nationals uh, organization. But as it is. Let's check the settings, the sliders and shit. Cuz I usually do this. Before I do anything else. Alright, I got the sliders taken care of. Let's see. Wait. Let me make sure on this gameplay settings here. Dynamic difficulty, good. Okay, that's good.
classic is what I want. There we go. Everything else looks good. Alright, here we go. Let's get our career with Washington in the minor the leagues underway that, here. Uh, takes a lot of pressure off you. The first time stepping into the Oakland Coliseum, I was nervous. You know, I'm facing Dave Stewart. You know, I faced him one time in spring training prior to that. And um, now everything that you dreamed about. Yeah, we're just going to get into the game. So we're starting off behind the plate for our first appearance. Batting eighth position in the lineup. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Opening day baseball on the show. It's the Harrisburg Senators and the Somerset Patriots. First pitch coming your way next. Just about to get started and towing the slab, Matt Sauer. Well, because he doesn't I don't know why stop, it says it's be critical that his long. Keeps a That's not what I'm playing. Second time, third time through the order, we see the OPS jump dramatically. So two down, Number and now the switch hitting catcher. Number 34. You can do it. Where the fuck are my batting gloves? That yeah. one's in there on one. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Yeah, I don't think anyone's got good numbers swinging at pitches in that location. Next one just misses. I don't one know how two. that should be strike three. Two on, two outs. In the air, left field. That one is back. Home warning track. Well, that was almost a home run in my first appearance. Two left on. We go to the bottom of inning number two. Number 34, the next to hit. Number 34. And we're down 5 nothing with a guy on here. Daddy swings and misses, and it's oh nothing in one. Knowing that the pitcher wants right. a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. Oh. The next offering misses. Ball one. And downstairs. Good miss with that change up away. He needs a ball on the ground for a double play. Minimize the potential threat right here on the hitter side. Nice job of laying off that pitch. Next offering is down low. He's not throwing in the strike zone at all to me here. Good plate appearance there. Able to and there's the my first walk. You think you so my first time on base if now. We gave you enough at bats. Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Kicks and deals. Tapped softly on the ground. Sends it to first. Two away now. Good fast two outs, in but on the hands, two guys the in scoring position. Jammed him up right there. Sammy Infante. So the batting order turns over. Sammy Infante now at the go, plate. Find a good pitch. Two outs, two in scoring position. Got him swinging. So they strand a pair to the bottom of inning number four now. The Patriots out front here, five to nothing. And here's the catcher, the number 34. Number He's all for one. Sauer, the tall righty, 195 pounds, and he was a second round pick back in 2017. Next pitch has popped up. Damn it, 0 for 2 now. And that's the inning. So they go quietly there on to the bottom of inning number six. The Here's the catcher, number 34, for the fourth time tonight. Pitch. 
first offering misses the mark. Two outs with a runner at third. Next offering upstairs. Two balls, no strike. Hammer, base hit. My first double A hit. That's good. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. These days, when you see a ball come off the bat like that, I mean, the first thing you want to know as a spectator, what was the exit velocity? 109 in this case. I mean, that's just impressive. The sound effects so of the ball hitting the batter are fucking so beautiful. In today's game. Oh, and at first, here's Carter Keeble. Very realistic sound. I'll tell you that. Pickoff moved to first, no, 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 and he no. dives back in safely. Nice try, dude. Here we go. You, right here. you almost caught me sleeping. Swings and misses. Good job at damage control right there. Lovely. Here's the second baseman, Jesus Bastidas. Okay, so I got to call the uh, inning behind the plate then. Let's start with a fastball down since there's a guy on first. In there for strike one. You know, All this right. group of hitters showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. The numbers say they've only chased at pitches outside the zone a little more than 10% of the time, which is excellent. The pitch. And now it's even one. up. So those numbers I just mentioned tell me they've been really smart at the plate. They're feasting on the healthy stuff and avoiding the junk. Kind of sounds like your diet, boo. Let's try a slider. Right-handed reliever. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Lockridge gets his lead at first with nobody out. Let's go up with a two-seam fastball. Struck him out swinging. Yeah, well, ball at the knee. that's not where I wanted that, but it still got the job Trey done. Sweeney. So the pitcher put the ball in the wrong place, but we survived that mistake. Let's try down here with an off-speed pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Well, he threw it in the wrong place, but... Let's try again going inside and low now. Right hander kicks deals. And a foul ball. He fouled that one off too, okay. Well, if he wants to swing, we'll let him swing. Fastball up and in. At the belt and fires. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. All right. Eat too much on that one. Well, he just had no now answer for that hard inside no, fastball right there. Just blew it by. Well, they win the opener at home. First game of the three-game series, and there's just such a good feeling when you're in your own ballpark. Yeah, I got to figure out my batting glove situation and my uh, and my elbow pad and my shin guard to why that shit wasn't there. And my power, clutch, play vision, play discipline, disability, speed, fielding, and reaction all went up just a little bit. That's good. Yeah, let's... Okay. Where the fuck are my batting gloves? Okay, that's not what I want. Where the f fuck is my equipment? Shit. How the fuck do I edit my equipment here? 
Like my batting shit. Up here? Okay, here's my skill set. Okay, this is what I'm looking for, so... Contact... and velocity here. But how do I see, do my equipment? Okay, I can add another pitch to my What pitches do I have? Curveball, change up, and well, I don't want a four seam fastball. Two seam fastball. Where's a slider? Here we are. And... Sinker. There we go. Here's my equipment. Apparently a compression sleeve on that side. Okay, I don't want that at all. Here we go. Where the fuck are the batting gloves? God damn it. There we go. I don't know why they didn't take the first time. Now I think we're ready to, to try to play another game here. you're with us double a baseball on the show coming your way it's the harrisburg senators and the somerset patriots and we'll be back with the first pitch right after this all right 
strike just about ready for baseball showing the slab in today's game Clayton Beater well he's a guy that needs to establish himself just settle in that first time through the order be able to command your first pitch maybe a secondary pitch and not show too much that will allow you to get through the order a couple of times before having to that turn it over cool. to the bullpen the in those middle innings. They're that looking for this cool. guy to get through the my line. My batting gloves and my shit are still not there. What the fuck? Keep him in this ball game. That's a complete pile of shit. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Why the fuck they does that shit not take? Second. Now two on with two outs. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that God ball back up the middle. Timing was I just wonder perfect. if that's a Got fucking a bug in the game. There's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he's hit it. Swings and misses, struck him out. Everyone else has batting gloves and shin guards, but I don't no fucking get them. Two hits, no errors, that's and bullshit. Two and left strand. So it's on to the bottom. Trey Sweeney will hit next. Looks like someone's going to try to steal second now. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. Strike in there. Got the throw. Him. Tag. And he's out. Got him. You know, when you've got cooler Sniped temperatures them at like second. this, sometimes it's a little harder to get some offense going because guys just don't want to feel the sting in their hands. They don't barrel it up. So being aggressive there, trying to get into scoring position by stealing a bag, I get it. Sometimes you just have to try to manufacture some runs, especially in temperatures like this. So two that on, but two it. away. And the no batter now, here. number four, good power. Someone else is trying Not to steal. In the OBP department. Run around the base. Pitch in for a strike. Throw there. Safe. Didn't get him there. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that. Now, and now, number, number 34. 34. Picked up a base hit to center his first time up. Swings through that one, all in one. This guy's usually not one to chase pitches off the plate, but he did there. We'll see if he can tighten up his zone a little bit. Next pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. And here it comes. And another ball. To the right side. What a stop! Fires to first. Nicely yeah. done for the out. That was a One good play. Second inning, but base. Nothing there. more than that. We head down to the home half of inning number three. All tied. One-one. Number thirty-four yeah, getting ready to number hit. 34. One for two. Come on, big guy. Here, pitch, huh? And that one handled. God damn on it. On to first. Oh. Third out, and that ends the frame. Now it's the second baseman, Jesus Bastidas. Hey, come on, let's turn it now. Come on, let's turn it. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Now move to first, and he's back in on a dive. Lockridge on at first, nobody out. Nope. Next pitch misses, ball two. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at-bats, and the biggest one he's had so far, he doesn't look anxious at all. Harris with a move to first, and he's back in standing. Throw the ball, shithead. Next offering upstairs. This point Throw it in the zone, you moron. Free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. And yeah, there's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Now this pitcher down. sucks. So now it's the full hole hitter, number 34, Atta for the boy. fourth time tonight. And he swings oh, and God misses at the initial offering. I wasn't looking at the screen at first. In the air, out towards left center. God damn it. 
pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Now here is number 10. One for three. Another guy going to try to steal. Runner goes. That's in for a strike. Throw. Save. And another one made it. feet is such a big deal in a tight one-run game like this. And they won. Why in the fuck are my shin, my shin guard, elbow pad, and batting gloves not fucking showing up? That's twice I've set them now. What the fuck is going on here? Batting gloves on. Okay. They're gone again. There's a fucking bug in the game. Yeah, they just do not fucking stay. I don't get to have fucking batting gloves or fucking shin guard. Or the or the elbow guard. Because fuck you. I guess. Whatever. Well, that's gonna score poorly for the game then. There's a bug in the game outright right now. I don't get to have fucking batting gloves when I bat. That's nice. <sighs> well, that's going to dock a few points for for the bug category when I go to write the review for this. But overall, the rest of the game is just fine. That is a fucking problem, though. Seriously, I hope San Diego Studios that you get that figured out because that's a problem. When you equip equipment and it doesn't fucking equip, that's a bug in your game, guys. I've never seen that bug in any show before, this one. So, graphically, this looks better than the last game, but there is at least one issue with the game, bug-wise, that I've never seen before in any show before it, before, so... That's a problem. But regardless of any of that, <clears throat> let's try to get to pitching and see when I pitch anytime soon. I'm still playing catcher here. I will finish up after uh, one round of pitching so you guys can see that too. Damn it. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Some double A baseball coming at you. It's the Harrisburg Senators and the Somerset Patriots. First pitch coming your way next. Coming up on the first pitch. Well, I think I know pitcher. what I'm going to title Number this 11. when this goes to YouTube in a few days. Him. Well, the key for him usually equipment his bug to command all four of his pitches. I mean, he can get by with three if one isn't working, but it becomes a little tougher to keep hitters guessing, especially when you start to get through the second and third time through the order. So we'll see how he incorporates all of his stuff into this one. Welcome back. Top of the second. And now the catcher comes up to him. Number 34. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Way high. The pitch. He swings and fouls one off. That would have been a strike anyway.
There's a swing and a drive. That one's carrying. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. My first and double. He's got a double. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. You put a really nice balanced swing on it, and when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box, and he'll feel That's real good. good about that one. The Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. And that chance handled. Tosses to first. One out in the second. Number six, the next to hit. The designated hitter, Will Brazell. And he'll two. The punch out there, two away. Well, we'll see when I get the Most pitch if the pitches that I added to my roster of pitches actually bats, took or not. Because if those didn't bat, take either, then the bug is the even bat, more rampant than like I thought. Go -ahead run in if position. that's the case, because that thought just crossed my mind with the batting glove and the other equipment the situation other way, and he boots it in there he's safe inning will continue digging in is the switch inning outfielder tj white drove in two of their three runs in yesterday's game let's see if tj can do something left field no nope. four under it Makes he the flies out to left over. field We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Base is empty, one now away. Number, number 34, 34 digs in now. Doubled in his first A.B. Let's see what I can do the here. The line to the pitch. That one missed. Hard hit, right side. Over to first, two gone. Well, he's doing a nice right. job of keeping. At the play, Jason Rosario. Runner, Runner on the goal. Pitch hey. in for a strike. Throw to second, see. Well, I've only thrown one guy out that trying to steal close, bases. But StatCast shows us why he's so. The Runner at first, with two away. Stop. Now here is there we go Trey again. Sweeney. The kick in the pitch. Runner goes. Strike in there. Throw to and another. Well, I'm uh, I'm I'm easy to steal on apparently. Wide to the third base side of the bag, so he had to reach a little bit to get it. Could have been just enough to make the difference there. The 0-2. Bunting for a hit. Not in time. He's safe. And he got a hit. That was really great. nice looking. Able to get it down and in a good spot. And he makes it look easy. Bad angle was perfect. Barrel stayed. In. And next will be the cleanup hitter. Number 34. And first offering is fouled off. Righty delivers. On the ground to first, could be two. God damn it. Second, there's one. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. Number 34, now at the plate. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three run lead, it should be a W. That one ripped. And that will end the inning. Well, I didn't do that. Well, a real nice performance out of the pen. This guy is not the one who usually... Well, I haven't pitched yet. Hopefully I will with this next one. A double-A hitting coach touches base with a new arrival to the team.
I'm the designated hitter in this one now. Hopefully that means that I'm pitching in the next one. Because I'm supposed to be a two-way player. First and so far, I've only away. played one way. Starting pitcher, Yohan I've, Adon. Not the best I've only ever been the catcher, so now I'm designated season, hitter. Yeah, really struggled last Still with no year, batting and gloves. It was one of those seasons that you just want to flush, but I think you have yeah, to it's... remember and take the opportunity when you do struggle to really look yourself in the mirror, identify what went wrong, and make improvements. And I have no doubt that that's what this guy did in the offseason to prepare himself to come back and to be one of the best bounce back. Got him. Out number God three. damn it. One hit in the inning. A so my and first strikeout. Designated out. hitter, number 34, struck out looking in his first at bat. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Smoked into left field, base hit, heading for the play. He'll score and they've tied it. It's three all. Good. Picks himself up an RBI. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. That ties the game at three of them. For the line drive knock. And he'll one. Grounder might be two. Goes to second for one. Return throw to first. Is. Got him. Double play. And that. Two outs. Runner at first. Next is the DH. A switch hitter. Number 34. Come on, big guy. One time. I'm going to try to get a double or better on a power swing. And the first pitch misses for ball Assu one. Assuming I don't get walked or something. <coughs> and he chases a high fastball there. Come on, big guy. See it. Drive it right here. And a pitch. And one and two. God well, damn it. Clear to me, he was trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. Next one Ooh, misses. And the developers and have two. to allow people to actually equip equipment instead of not testing sh everything in the game in before the release. For base hit. Makes the turn at second, heads for third. Coming home. And that's a double. The run scores all the way from first. It's and four gives us three. A one well, run Don lead now. In the run. Got a good pitch to drive. Stayed short with his bad path to the ball and caught it out front. And he stayed long in his follow through. That's how you split the gap. And that's pretty much a double every time. And now the first the baseman, battle. number six. Baseman. He's already homered in this game. Yeah. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. So a run on. Man at first with one gone. Next is the designated hitter, number 34. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. Okay, that was almost right down the middle on pitch five. All right, good. First offering misses the mark. Lace to right center, base hit. Harris around second, headed for third. Harris headed for the plate. He'll score easily, and they take and a two now, lead. Uh, Got the two lead. to put him up by two. Everything was mechanically sound with that swing right there. I mean, that's pretty much what you're wanting to replicate with every rep you take. You want good balance, yeah. barrel directly to the baseball, yeah. and good long extension after contact out in front of home plate. Man, there are a lot of doubles in a swing like that. And that's ball four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. Next pitch has popped up. The center fielder, number nine. Here's a speed threat. Robert Hassel the third. One for two. Here's a one-two. Smash to the left side. 
dives, but it kicks off his And glove. that will load the bases. He doesn't have a throw. Two outs. And everyone safe. The bases are loaded. Two outs. I just said that. Full. Now, Carter Kibu for the fourth time tonight. Let's see what Carter can do. The He's two for three so far. And, and he's one run is in. Three, he's, he's three for to four. It's now we're up seven three now. And they lead by four. All right. Well, he was a little off balance. He got and we welcome go. back. We're Last seven, chance three. for the home team. But now it's the DH, number, number 34. Four. And a pitch. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Matos makes the play, and there's one down. And a final, eight to seven for Chris Singleton and our entire and they got outstanding the win. crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. My power went up for against, I guess, right-handed pitching from 30-31. My clutch went up to 31 as well. That's good. Ready to go, and now Michael Gigliotti. I'm finally pitching. Oh wait, in the inning without allowing a run or a hit. In the inning without allowing a run or throwing a wild pitch. In the inning without allowing a run and I record at least one strike. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna go without with with the run and hit thing. Let's start with a fastball down. The why to kick the pitch. That one close ruled a ball. And yeah, this one is off and running. Fly ball down the line. And that is a foul ball. Line drive. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One There's away. one out. <clears throat> Brett Auerbach. On three we'll pitches. Next. And first offering is fouled off. One down, one down. And nope, ball one. Ball. The next pitch misses. Two and one. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. No score, just getting started, top of the first. Hour back. Tries to hold up, appeal to first, and he held up. Popped up, Infante makes his way towards it, makes a nice grab at a full sprint. There's two outs and there's now. two away. Two outs, base is empty. Isan Diaz up to hit now. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. And that's a strike. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Two outs. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Pulls it in on the run. Inning and over. Do it. Yeah. End of a half inning of play. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. All set for the start of the Lead inning. Off. Now it's the right, the fielder, right fielder, Clint Coulter. Clint. The wind in the pitch. And that's through there for a strike. We'll see how deep into the game I can pitch into. And that's outside. The guy at the plate could recognize slider. And this will probably hand. be the last the game of the stream then, too. Depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off speed pitch. White makes the play, and there's one down. And now the DH, number 96. Oh. 
Swing and a line drive. Well, Base there's out of the, the first field. hit that I've given up. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. And here's the first baseman, number 89. Good power, not great in the OBP department. Second inning here, no score. Hey, come on now, two ball right here. Next pitch just misses. One and two to count. Oh, fuck you, Womp. Sets him down looking. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball. My first strikeout. And now the shortstop, Tyler Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald. Tap back to the mound. Sneaks through, base hit. God damn Throw it. in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with Got two it. away. Went up there looking to be aggressive right. and got something he could handle. With. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. The Next run. offering misses and one and one. Two down now. Next pitch has popped up. Drops into the glove and that's the third out. Still no Back here at the ballpark. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. Now the left fielder, Shane Matheny. First pitch just misses. There's a strike. Going to count one and two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Fights that one away, still one and two. I do know in the settings you can set the umpires to be perfect, to call everything perfect. Or you can allow them oh, to have a personality misses. and a good take. kind of like real umpires and whatnot. So that's a thing in this show as well. Got him looking for the K. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. So the lineup flips over. Well, considering I fucked over on a previous call, I'll take it. Michael Gigliotti. Fun attempt. Popped up. Snags it on the run. And there it's good. Well, he gave the bun a shot there, but not able to execute. Yeah, I think he rushed it a little bit. And when guys rush, it can be a pop up or can be bunted right back at a position player. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 oh, now. That one out to right, Harris should have this one. He's got it, and that is out number three. Welcome back, on to the fourth. Here's the second baseman, Isan Diaz. Hit on the ground to the right side, and that's just foul. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Chopped to the right side, and he grabs it in foul ground. The 0-2. And a swing and a miss. There's one another down. strikeout. Now it's going to be Clint right, Coulter. He's over one. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Love how he let that ball travel. <laughs> trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Next is the designated hitter, number 96. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. One down. One down. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. Hey, roll it up, huh? 
That misses. It's two and two. And that's outside. He goes down looking. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit I'm the starting to get the Sometimes strikeouts you can ringing. Think things, and I think that was the case right there. Lays out. He's got it, and very nicely done. A gold glove play by my shortstop. That's nice. Great concentration you, to get that one started. He gets the force ja of second. Jackson Clough. at its finest. Good job. Well, I'm going to call you Action Jackson, then. Action. J Action Jackson over there at short. Try, and welcome try, back. Now it's the trying to get a go glove over Fitzgerald. there. Tyler Fitzgerald. That, that kind of reminds me when I was a kid playing baseball with friends yeah, and my dad is off. At, a, at, a, at a local baseball field in Chicago. Yeah, One of my friend's friends uh, called my dad uh, a golden glove asshole at one point. The story with that was I was pitching. Some guy named Chris was batting. My dad was playing the outfield behind me. I, I pitched the ball. He smoked the ball to the outfield for like the fifth or sixth time. And my dad caught it for the fifth or sixth time every single time. He ran it down and caught the fly ball. And then that's and when the, the my friend's uh, older brother's friend, his first name was Chris, called my dad a golden glove asshole, and my dad was rolling in the outfield laughing. <laughs> no one had called him a golden glove asshole before. <laughs> and that's probably one of my fondest and memories of playing baseball Cuts on it and misses. with that's my dad. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Was Definitely not something that I really did, but right something there. that someone that called my dad. <laughs> <laughs> My dad was the Golden Glove asshole in center field. I miss you, Dad. Here's the catcher to hit, Brett Cumberland. Hey. In there, and it's 0-1. Baseball brings up a lot of good memories for me. Line drive, base hit. And as you guys can tell, I grew up loving baseball, so. Well, Hence why I've played every game, MLB so The Show since the very first one in 2004 or 5 on the PS2. So every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice I think the first one was in 2004, so I think. Next, Shane Matheny. First pitch doesn't find the zone. There's a strike. Next offering upstairs. Swings through that one. 2-2 Two -two now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Into center, Clough on his way over. Makes a nice run. The short catch. stop being yeah. the Golden Glove That's asshole that he is. <laughs> my short stop is reminding me of my dad. He stayed focused and made a nice <laughs> catch right there. Gigliotti in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out. Well, got to pause on and that. And there's the fifth inning. As that'll do it for the inning. So one hit is all they get. <clears throat> Last half of the fifth coming up. The center. Back here at the ballpark. Now the number two hitter, Brett Auerbach. First pitch, and he just misses. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Foul ball there. And the next pitch is way outside. Ah. 
And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Really well, that was like a these kind call. Have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity. That hit the base. There. Not in time. He legs it so out. So it was fair. Nice God there. damn it. Good throw, but the batter no very difficult. That's the luckiest hitter I've ever seen. On that one, as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. One and one. The pitch. Slapped foul. And the right hander deals. Hammered on the line. Base hit. Around second on his way to third. Heading for the plate. He scores to tie it up. It's 1 1. But he stops, God able to get back to second safely. Gets it done to drive in the run and tie it back up. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely hey. smoked that ball. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Next pitch misses, and it's a ball to strike. Just off the outside part of the plate. Man, it's second. And a swing and a miss. High fly ball out into left center field. And there's one away. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Number 96 in the box now. Take strike one. Time call during the pitch. And it looks like a balk has been called here. Great. Fuck you, um. Hey, we got one. The 0 1. And fouled off. Here's the 0-2. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Harris brings it in. Runner tagging from third. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. It's 2-1. Sometimes all you got to do is your That job. umpire and just fucked us. complicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play, and a nice job with the sack fly. Number 89. The batter down as he swings and misses for strike one. To center and a base hit. Great, another hit. Just what I needed. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Next offering is in for a strike. Hey, two outs here, two outs. On the ground to the left. That's the third out. They get finally. Two. Carson Teal taking over on the mound. Okay, I finally got pulled out. In this one, you get to a certain point where and we do is do the game. Outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball so game. So I got for these guys, hit for the really loss came there. Down to a few key at bats. This was a fun one to watch. And your final score here today, two. I did strike out five guys. I did allow two runs and allowed seven hits. But as it is, a prospect receives a check in from his agent who wants to make sure his client's career is being launched in a way that suits the young man's goals and ambitions. All right, so <clears throat> if I wind up streaming this again, it will be a more legit playthrough of a career from beginning to end. Uh, 
This was just to set up showing this for the first time on stream and to get something up on YouTube uh, at some point as well. So with that in mind, I hope you guys like this. If, if you guys are watching this on YouTube in a few days, please like, subscribe, come follow the Twitch channel to hang out, chat with me live while I do stuff like this. Play new games, play older games, and just otherwise just stream, have a good time, and play games while talking to you guys. But uh, on that note, a couple of side notes from what I saw in this. I love how this looks. I love how it plays. I hope that uh, San Diego Studios gets that glitch fixed with the batting gloves, the shin guard, and 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 the elbow guard for the batting equipment. I hope you guys get that fixed because that's a because that's a problem. Because when you go to equip that stuff, and each and every time it does not equip. That's a problem. That's a problem with the game itself. And you guys really should have tested that before launch. I'm just saying. But on that note, everything else I loved about this. The sound. I'll let you guys know what I think of the music on a future stream. Either on my channel or somewhere else. But on that note... Uh... I don't have anything else other than stay tuned for uh, for Thursday night. I'll be live with uh, Hello Brutiful on her Twitch channel for uh, Unfiltered Brew with her talking about games and other fun stuff while having a drink or two. So stay tuned for that. Go follow Hello Brutiful on Twitch. And prepare for that. That will be at about 8, 8, 8.30 uh, p.m. Central Standard Time on Thursday night. So, on that note, I'll see you guys Thursday night over on her channel. Uh, until then, let's see, it's two, It's Wednesday morning now. Yeah, it's almost 1 o'clock in the morning here, so it's Wednesday morning now. You'll... I don't want to make any promises as I don't know when I'll have energy to stream again on here. Much much less on YouTube, but we'll see. But expect me again before I move to Arizona to do something somewhere on one of my channels. That much I can promise you. When, I don't know, but just stay, stay followed, hit the bell, all that good stuff, and just pay attention. Because you never know when well, I'll where I will show up next. Until then, guys, have a great night. Let's see who's live right now. If anybody is. Just Beardo is. Let me see if he's still going to be live when I tr if I try to raid him. He's only been live for about an hour and a half. So yeah, let's go raid. I'm going to go raid Fear the Beardo. So until then, I will see you guys, like I said, over on Bruce's channel on Thursday night. Until then, have a great night. And I'll see you guys later.